How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary and in this video what I want to talk about is if Halo 5 is too hard. I recently posted up a thread on Reddit asking a lot of people I, I, do they think Halo 5 is too hard because I think that a lot of the mechanics in Halo 5 are great. I think 343 has something really special here that I think that maybe for new players coming to this kind of game it might be a bit of a shock to them but how much stuff there is that you can do in this game and how much of a skill ceiling there is while the skill floor is what I've heard it called is actually rather high while the skill ceiling is a little too low for Halo 5. So in this video I want to compare classic and you know current movements in Halo 5 and Halo 3 to show you the kind of differences that, uh, of movements that we have in these games. I do enjoy classic movement, I do enjoy current movement as well. For, both for different reasons and I've so I'm afraid that the current motions in Halo 5 might be a little too intimidating for new players. So in this video I'm going to compare and contrast. So let's get right into the video. So I'm going to show you guys here as one. I'm going to show you strafing and I'm also going to show you how to uh, do different kind of um, advanced jump maneuvers that you can do in Halo uh, from the current movement style to the classic play style as well. So we'll start off with Halo 5. It's a new hotness right now. So as you can see, right here, you can kind of strafe left and right, kind of add in a crouch while you're at it. It's actually rather fast movement speed as well, it's rather fluid. You can jump in and kind of boost to the other side as well, or you can kind of, just, you know, when you're kind of in your middle of your strafe, you can kind of just boost while you're in the middle of a gunfight too. And just kind of, you know, kind of using your classic style of Halo, but then also adding in these new elements like the boost. And actually this crouch maneuver has actually been a lot, it's a lot more fluid than previous Halos as well. Also with Halo 5, they added in new elements like clamber and also stabilizing when it comes to your abilities. And that greatly changes the map style changes in Halo 5. As you can see, we have this ledge right here. Clearly something would not be something that could be easily uh, achieved on the classic movement style just because it's just too high up but with uh you know i can't even jump up there with just a standard style but if i kind of use like this block right here jump up jump boost stabilize to the jump i can clamber it rather easily where probably in halo previous halo this platform here would have been lowered a bit so where you could, could just do a standard crouch jump which i will show later on see i'm doing a crouch jump and nothing happening there so you can see like what I'm doing here is I'm jumping, I jump again, stabilize, and then I'm toggling my crouch while I'm in mid-air to make sure I can clamber this while also hitting the left bumper because I use bumper jumper to clamber this item, this object here so we can try it again. So I go, I go jump, stabilize, clamber, and jump, and clamber, clamber, jump, and clamber at the same time while also toggle crouching and I'm able to jump up here. A lot more buttons are being used, utilized while playing Halo 5 than previous Halos. And what, that's kind of one of the things I want to talk about is if Halo 5 might be a little bit too much on for new players. So you can see right here, I can just kind of jump over here, jump, stabilize, crouch, jump, and clamber, no problem right here. This also is a very typical uh, stabilized jump location right here. If you jump, get some momentum, look up, jump, clamber it, same style, no problem. Now as you can see we jump over here to Halo 3 which is kind of like the pinnacle of the classic movements I say of Halo as a whole. And you can see how the strafe is a little different right here. The jump's a little bit higher but you can see that uh, the thing is that also taking into consideration is that uh, I noticed that when trying to do like a crouch strafe that uh, you're not I wasn't able to strafe you know, in directional like down left or right and crouch I had to crouch then move left and right but you can definitely check see the speed difference is huge when it comes to the crouch within a strafe so it's actually kind of less things to worry about when it comes to strafing and now another thing here comparing the jumps right here you can see like I wasn't able to make that jump but um, using various crouch jumps I'm able to get to certain locations like right here on the pit obviously there's jumps all over the place in every Halo map. I just used the pit for an example because these are very clear obvious examples like right there kind of cutting the corner a little bit when it comes to that jump. Now with um, these kind of the classic movements it really does kind of funnel people down certain lanes a little bit more than you would expect for compared to Halo 5 where anybody can kind of really kind of come from anywhere. It makes the gameplay a little more uh, chaotic I'd say where you can see right here doing a nice little crouch jump using the environment to jump up there to get to that point seeing like you had to use the environment of the map to really be able to jump up to locations that you wanted to get to and uh, using the classic movements kind of help funnel people down certain locations where in Halo 5 people have more free roam with like clamber 
and also speed boosting as well to kind of jump up and to get to get where they want to go faster and more efficient. So you can see with these simple examples that with just some minor changes to the gameplay drastically changes how players traverse the map. Now the question I want to propose to you guys, I want to start a discussion in the comments here is, is Halo 5 too hard? You know, there's a lot more button combinations that need to be taken into consideration while playing the game. If you want to be up to a decent standard. I can't feel like I can be a truly ju a judge on my own opinion on this because I'm a seasoned veteran when it comes to playing shooters. I've been playing Halo consistently since 2001 when the first Halo game came out. So I know my way around how to play a shooter. Now, and I've also been very accustomed to playing like these advanced movement kind of uh, stuff. Like say I played a little Timefall. I even played a little bit of Call of Duty back when they did the advanced jumps and I was like, okay, well, I'm done with that. But I think Halo 5, they did a really good job with this advanced movements where it's fun enough and, and freeing enough to where you can move around and have some fun with the game, but also limiting enough to where it's not so outrageous where you can just jump all over the map however you feel. Though I lack the perspective of someone brand new to these mechanics, and I wonder if this skill floor is a little too high, if that makes sense, for a new player to jump into this kind of game, if they're say from the come from a classic Call of Duty or a classic Halo, they jump in this game like, whoa, this is this is ridiculous. You can see because I can see how the classic movements of Halo can be very attainable for a casual player who just wants to jump in and, and play some games. Doesn't have to worry about people flying all over the map and stuff like that, which can be rather intimidating and frustrating for new players. But for me, I'm a seasoned FPS player. I've been playing them for over a decade now probably even close to two decades at this point, uh, that it's not too much of a jump for me to play this kind of style of Halo. So that's why I want to propose this question in the comments. I do read all comments and try to reply to most of them as well, is, is Halo 5 too hard? And is Halo 5 not hard enough for the high tier gameplay? Because when I posted this thread on Reddit, that seemed to be a lot of people's uh, general consensus when it comes to the gameplay of Halo 5 saying that uh, for new new players coming in, it's a little too much. But for seasoned veterans, there are some aspects of the game that make it a little too easy or to either like traverse the map or uh, win gunfights and things like that. A lot of gal jail free card kind of things. So people, that's what a lot of people feel about these new movements where I feel like they're just a different way to uh, approach gun battles and have been completely re revitalized gun battles in Halo series as a whole. Now me personally, I really enjoy Halo 5's multiplayer. As you can tell, I post up content on this channel constantly of Halo 5. I stream Halo 5 constantly on my Twitch channel. Link in the description, but anyways. Uh, but that's, it's, all you gotta do is just compensate for those movements. As you can tell with uh, with 343's map style, they're much larger maps. The lines, lines of sight have been elongated to compensate for these advanced movements so that you don't fly across from the a complete opposite side of the map within two seconds like you could if you'd use the classic map style of Halo uh, 1, 2, and 3 then yeah it would be crazy overpowered but I feel like 343 did a really good job of on the first try especially of being able to compensate maps and weapons well enough to where you can make a rather competitive fun shooter to play on the first try with these kind of movements Personally, I would for Halo 6, I would love to see 3 for 3 continue with these movements and just refine them a little bit. You know, remove Spartan Charge. Yeah, <laughs> that's, just, that's just my opinion on that one. Maybe reduce the thrust a little bit so it's not so uh, it's not so much of a game changer when it comes to being in the middle of a gunfight where you should use it as like an additional tool rather than part of a strafe or part of your move core movements. I think 343 has something really special with the gameplay of Halo 5 and with just some minor tweaks we could have some really really fun really fast paced great gameplay and so that's why I want to put up this video guys I want to hear your decision on what you think about Halo 5. Do you think Halo 5 might be too intimidating for new players because the classic movements are very obtainable for new players they're very simple they're not too they're not overly complex there's not a whole lot of extra things you can do and I feel that with uh, Halo 5 can be a little intimidating, but me, I actually really enjoy it and would love to see 3 for 3 continue with these movements. Leave in the comment section down below. I do read all of them and try to reply to most of them as well. If you enjoy these kind of videos, please make sure to tap that like button. It greatly helps out this channel, get some more notoriety, helps this video get some more circulation so more people can chime in with their thoughts of what they think about Halo 5 uh, skill ceiling, skill floor, if you want to call it that as well. 
And also, if you want to see some more content from me, say news, updates, gameplay stuff, and uh, also streams, make sure to tap subscribe because we're always uploading awesomeness on this channel. I stream twi on Twitch quite often as well, so link in the description down below if you want to watch any Halo 5 streams as well or anything else re related to Halo. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.